Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Lori. Today I have a very special video in store for you because I'm doing a crossover video. I have another channel on YouTube called Lori's Boston Found where I share with you all of my adventures in thrifting and in reselling. And I thought it would be really fun to do a crossover video and bring some of my thrifting expertise to my stationary friends. I am always on the lookout for some fun stationary products, notebooks, desk accessories, pens, of course, fountain pens. I've only found one, which I'm gonna share with you at the end of this video. But in general, when I am out at the thrift stores looking for clothing to resell, I'm often looking in the office supplies section too. Because as many of you know, we spend a lot of money on our pens and our stationery and our planner habits. And it's always nice to save some money on quality pieces when we can. So what we're going to do in today's video is I'm going to create a list of items that I typically look for when I go to the thrift store with regards to stationery. Then we're going to actually go to a local thrift store and I will show you some of the items that caught my eye. At the end of the video, I'm going to share with you all of the things that I have purchased secondhand, some of which will be for sale. I was hoping to get more when I was out thrifting during the thrift with me. You'll see the things that I pick up, put down. I only ended up going home with one item, but that one item turned out to be a really good product that I am excited to share with you. So if you like content about planning, fountain pens, stationery, or thrifting, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell if you'd like to be notified when I post videos. Let's flip the camera around. We'll create a list for the thrift store and then we'll go thrifting. I'll meet you back here for a little haul on all of my thrifted stationery items. So what are the types of things that I would be looking for? I definitely want to get a poetry book. I'm also looking for a novel to transcribe for um, like my ink stuff. Uh, something fun. It's lumpy in the background, of course. I, gotta, I don't want anything too heavy or too long. Also like little accessories, like, you know, maybe some plants or candles. Always interested in pen cases. I always look um, at leather products, like small leather goods. Uh, oftentimes I'll find like a uh, Franklin Covey style. I never know exactly what I'm looking for. I, I'll just know when I see it. Maybe a small painting. Always nice to have like uh, storage options for pens, for inks, stickers, anything like that. I guess notebooks. I rarely find fountain pen friendly notebooks, but maybe just for quick note jotting like this. Or maybe a lamp. A special lamp would be nice. Yeah, these are all some nice ideas for things that you can look for to enhance your experience. Oh, one last thing. This is a beautiful pen rest that was sent to me by folks over at Fountain Pendulum. It's got this beautiful little green velvet. It's a little dusty right now, but I love this walnut color and it's fantastic too if you have any longer pens. It's wonderful. I use it all the time um, and they just did this really pretty purple wood for Valentine's month and I think she just came out with a really lighter wood. I think it's like a maple. She always have has beautiful pen accessories. She also has things for pen sample, like for the vials of samples. I just have this one um, pen rest, which I absolutely love. It looks really pretty with this Hong Diem. But when I was in Japan, I bought this and this was at um, like a home goods store, almost like a crate and barrel style store. And this also fits pens, but I think this was meant for soaps or like little trinkets. So these are the types of things that you could also find at um, a thrift store like a pen rest it's really nice i mean i use these both for different lengths and different you know depending on my mood here's my list poetry or quotes that would that would be in the form of a book a novel something fun plants or candles pen cases leather goods like a franklin covey notebook small painting uh, storage options, notebooks, lamp, pen rest, and pens. All right, friends, I'm here at Savers, and this is what I do for my other channel. I do Thrift With Me's, where I take you with me in the thrift store, but we are typically looking for clothes. Today, we're looking for stationary product, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm not sure what I'm going to find. I'm typically in here looking for clothes, but I always head over to the office supplies, too. So we'll see what we find, and maybe I will also pick up something for my other business as well. Let's go see what we can find. All right, I'm going to do a little voiceover here. 
um, to explain my thought process. I loved this candle. I thought $5.99 was a little expensive, but it was really pretty and it was new. But to be honest, the smell wasn't great, so I put it back. This is an example of the typical three ring leather binder that I see there, but that was not the best brand, so I left it behind. I really loved these mugs. Uh, but I have a mug problem. But this is also a great accessory when you're considering items for your desk or for Instagram. I thought this was a really pretty mug too. I'm thinking of like different inks that would match this. My brain is weird now. This is a makeup storage container, 349. This is great for ink samples or if you just need a little bit more organization within a drawer. These are always readily available at thrift stores. I thought this was really cute for pens. It was $2.99. This is my vibe all the way. I just didn't need that. Here is another makeup holder, different sizes, uh, but don't pay retail for those. They are always at the thrift store. I was looking at jewelry boxes as well because they are velvet lined. Um, I need pen cases all the time. This was $5.99. It was a little beat up and I had that section in the center for rings. This is a book that I almost picked up. It was called like The Daily Calm. Do what you can with what you've got. I mean, some of the quotes were really nice. Um, I just didn't love the aesthetic of this book, which really doesn't matter because I would be copying the passages um, onto notebooks and such. So I don't know, I, it just didn't speak to me, but this is exactly the type of thing that I was looking for. And I think it was $5. Time ripens all things. No man was born wise. This is a utensil divider that you would typically put in like your kitchen or maybe like a office drawer, but that would be very practical. Here is, oh, this is a messenger bag. And when I got home and looked at the comps on these, which meaning what did this sold for? I think it's Bocconi. It's an Italian brand. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It was missing the crossbody strap, so I left it behind. Always lots of stationery and cards at the thrift store. I didn't need this, but these are all just samples. These were all of the novels. They had all of the classics in one section. I was tempted by Gone with the Wind, but that is a big book to write. <laughs> this I thought was even cute. This is a napkin holder. You could use this to hold your, um, you know, A5 size notebooks. You can just get as creative as you want. I really loved this. Um, I don't know what I would put there. Maybe Q-tips <laughs> when I'm sampling my ink. I thought it was really, really pretty. That was really fun. I did only end up leaving with one item, but I'm very excited about that piece. And it wasn't until I came home and did some research that I realized what a nice piece it was. When I am shopping in this particular thrift store, the reception is really bad. So it's hard for me to look things up on Google or see what things sell for if they're worth me picking up for my reselling business. Oftentimes I'm not thinking about reselling when I'm looking at stationary stuff. I'm looking at things for myself. Why don't I start by sharing with you some of the stationary products um, that I have purchased in the past. And then I'll end with what I purchased on this particular day. One of the things that I was looking for on my list was either a novel or a book of poetry that I could use mostly for Instagram when I'm trying out a new pen and I wanna showcase a pen and ink combination for you. It's nice to have a little quote or a poem to share to show you the writing sample. I've also had some interest in writing an entire novel. I've seen a few creators do it. I just don't know if I'm ready for that commitment and I didn't see any books on this particular day that really inspired me. However, in the past, I have picked up a few books at the thrift store just to give you an idea of things that I keep my eye out for. What I love about this book is it gives you some synonyms for words if you don't wanna say very over and over. It gives you some creative words to use. It helps you with letter writing for thank you cards, for sympathy cards, notes for congratulations or achievements. It's a really nice book to have close to me when I am sending letters, which I am behind on so many notes. I think I should keep this on my desk so that I can send out some letters on a personal note by Angela Ensminger and Kelly Chase. Books at my local thrift store are between like two and five dollars depending. I'm not sure what I paid for these because I've had them for a while. This is another one, How to Write a Letter, Find the Words for Every Occasion. So these are both great books, but I was definitely looking for more of like a poetry book. I looked at that one book that I did like a little bit, but I didn't really love the aesthetics, which shouldn't really matter, but it does to me sometimes. I just decided to leave it behind, but I wanted to share it with you as an example. You probably have some stuff on your bookshelf right now. You don't even have to go to the thrift store and then you can find some great things to write down. Next up, I've shared this before. 
um, but they always have wooden stamps at my local thrift store and usually in bags up on the wall. Stampin' Up! is a company that I used to really be excited about. I had a lot of their stamps. I've since sold a lot of them or donated them. And this is one of my very favorite stamps. It's a beautiful snow globe. You can use your fountain pen ink and paint the scenery. It's really nice as long as you use a permanent ink for the stamp. This is another one that was also cute for the holidays. You can often find wooden stamps and acrylic stamps at the thrift store. And they're a great little pickup, especially if you, you not sure that you want to use it all year long like this is something that's seasonal so i thought this was a great little pickup to be able to share during the holidays on note cards or just to decorate my planners with okay another thing that i picked up at the thrift store was this paperage lined notebook i, I want to say i paid like four or five dollars for this i always use loitrum notebooks for my morning pages and they're about twenty dollars on sale twenty to twenty five dollars i love loitrum so i will always go back to them however if i can find something else I'll give it a try so I grabbed this it was like five dollars this was a while ago and then I got home and realized that this was a brand that was carried on Amazon for 10 and I don't know if it's really fountain pen friendly let me know if you're familiar with paperage this is a lined notebook it's cute though so I'm sure I will use it for doodling I always keep a separate notebook aside from all of my planners just that I can doodle in all day, try out my inks, write notes to myself, like so that I can keep my planners looking on the prettier side. I mean, my planners are pretty functional, but I like to have notebooks aside. And then my morning pages, I write in every day and I like a hardbound book. I don't think this was a huge bargain. It was still 50% off, not bad. So for those of you who don't know, I do a live pen show every Monday with my good friend, Vanessa. We are called the Juicy Broads. One of our viewers named us because we like to write with Juicy Broad fountain pens and we thought it was really fun and it kind of stuck. So we do the Juicy Broads pen show every Monday. At the start of every show, Vanessa and I share a handbag, an everyday carry, like a case or something else, a notebook, and then a fountain pen that we're using to kick off the show. Usually we chat for a while before we get to that portion, but in this past week's episode, I decided to do all thrifted items for my share. So I'm gonna share those with you right now. This is a coach bag, a leather coach bag that I bought at Savers. One day I was in the store and I didn't find anything I really liked except for this bag. I had a 30% off coupon this day, so it was $24.99, could have been 20% off for a leather coach bag. This is a fantastic tote, kind of has like a light blue trim. I can't tell if it's black or navy blue. I'm pretty sure it's black. I'm wearing black, so yeah, I think it's black, but it's got like a light blue aqua stitch, which I thought was really unique. The inside is super clean. This is a great tote bag for all of your stationary supplies. So you can fit in a laptop or an iPad, your Kindle, notebooks, your phone, whatever you want. This is a great work bag and it was around $20 for a leather coach bag. So this is fantastic. I shared this at the start of my show. I'm always on the hunt for bags. I really do love my black Dagny Dover canvas bag. It reminds me of the superior labor quality or like an L.L. Bean really sturdy canvas bag, but it's all black, it's got lots of pockets. That's the bag I kind of carry around the house with me. This leather coach bag would be fantastic to um, bring to the cafe, bring to work, whatever. This is going to be available for sale. I'll leave links to everything below should you be interested, but I'm gonna list that for $60, which is a great value for a coach bag. Oh, this was the other thing that I shared. I will also be selling this. This brand is called Sun Sunlac. You can see this. I love small leather goods, so there are always things that I'm keeping an eye out for when I'm thrifting. This is a really great size. This fits a B6 notebook you can kind of slide it in over here oh i'm just discovering this now it has this cool little feature that you can lift this piece up and make it like a wristlet oh i didn't see that before that is so nice there's not a specific spot for a pen but you can certainly fit pens in here like i have this little rickshaw single sleeve if you wanted to tuck this in like that fits right here in the pocket so you could definitely store your pens in here it clasps like that it's just this gorgeous leather, so you can use this as a wallet. This will also be for sale. I'll probably sell this for about $25, this nice leather piece. It's multifunctional. I loved the color of this leather. The pen that I shared on the Juicy Broad Show was this fountain pen. It's the only fountain pen that I've ever thrifted, and I was so excited. I had no idea if this was high-end or low-end when I bought it. There, were, there was nothing about it that... Um, I knew, so it was an unfamiliar brand. It turns out this also is an Amazon brand called Scrivener, 
S-C-R-I-V-E-I-N-E-R. -E -E um, these pens sell for about $45 to $55 on Amazon. This is a beautiful writer. I mean, this is two-toned. If you like metal pens, this is not typically what I go for, but I was just so excited to find a fountain pen that I picked it up and I wanted to give it a try. It's got this little um, texture on the section, which is really beautiful. It also prevents the pen from slipping too much. I have a Diplomat Aero and it's just way too slippery for my hands. I tend to have dry hands. This kind of stays put. It's not back heavy considering that it's metal. Typically what happens with me, if a pen is like this, I'll write for a while and then eventually it feels a little back heavy so I'll take the cap off. It's a cartridge converter fill pen and it's absolutely beautiful. This company actually recently contacted me about sending me some pens. So I think I'm going to respond to them because this is a beautiful pen. I've really enjoyed it. I'd be curious to see what else they have. I'm always on the hunt for a fountain pen. The pens that I typically find at the thrift store are usually bagged up with lots of arts and crafts like Crayola markers and things like that. So this was in the case at the front of the store. So now I'm always there checking out what they might have at this particular location, but this is a beautiful writer for the price. Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried this pen from Amazon because it's a really great writer. Okay, really quickly, some other things that I have purchased. I got this beautiful tooled leather pouch um, that just wraps around like this. Isn't this color just gorgeous? And I've used it on a couple of occasions. It's got like a little gusset on the inside, but you can certainly fit your pen in here, um, you can fit a little pen case. I've put my, my AirPods in there. If you just wanna throw some stuff in your bag and go to the cafe to do some journaling, you can certainly fit a couple gel pens in here. It's a great little leather piece and it's absolutely beautiful. I will be listing this for about $25. This is literally just a little storage container. Um, it, act, it says that's from the container store. I paid $2 for this at the thrift store. And I just use this for some of my random bottles of ink. For a while, I had some of my wax seal stamp supplies in here that I got um, when I did the Orlando Pen Show that my friend Vanessa actually taught. Um, so this is just a great little storage thing. You can use it for so many things. You could also line up like traveler's notebooks in here. It's a great little caddy. Like if you wanted to put your stamps in here, I could put my glasses in here. Very functional. I'm sure the container store sells these in a variety of sizes. It looks like a modular system that you could like fit in a drawer. Um, I also showed in my video a wooden tray that is probably used for utensils in the kitchen, but that you could repurpose and use for pens and office supplies in your desk. So you can get as creative as you want when you're out thrifting for stationary supplies. What I bought the other day, which turned out to be a really great pickup, um, which I think I showed in the video, but I'm not positive. This folio by Levenger, am I saying that right? It was just written very small right here. And like I said, I don't have great reception in that store. So I'm like, this was $2.99. So I said for $3, it doesn't matter what the brand is, this is in beautiful condition. I really loved the plaid on the inside and the leather was just soft, beautiful leather. I always look at the corners of handbags and any leather products to see if there is a ton of wear because usually that's where you'll see it first. It was in beautiful condition. I got home, I looked this up. I think it's called the Bomber Portfolio. It retails for $159. I paid $2.99. This is the listing for this particular item on the Levenger website. This is the color Mocha. It retails for $189. The only sold that I saw was on eBay. Uh, it was listed for $140 and it looks like the seller accepted a best offer. The quality of this product is really, really beautiful. I'm so excited I found it. So this section right here is an opening so you can put like probably a legal size notepad over here there's also a section up here so depending on if your notepad goes up or if it goes to the side you have options with this this is absolutely beautiful it even had a pen oh gosh i didn't even see this what came with it let's see <laughs> Oh, this is actually nice. It's personalized. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. J. Cooprider? Oh, this is a Levenger pencil, I believe. Unless it's a unless it's a pen. Oh no, it's a ballpoint pen. This is a really nice pen. Let me just see. Oh, this is so exciting. I didn't know that this came with it. 
Oh no, it's a ballpoint pen and it actually writes nice. I know we don't like ballpoint pens here, but this is really nice. I have to look this up now. So see the personalization on there? This is a beautiful writing instrument. Oh, this is just a stylus on the back side, but it's very big. I thought it was an eraser, but it's a very chunky stylus. Writes like a dream. Oh, bonus. Uh, so anyways, this was a huge pickup for $2.99. I'll probably list this for about $65 or $75, more than half off what the list price is for this. This has multiple compartments. You have a spot for your business card. There is a zipper here. There's a little pocket over here. It's very nice. Let me just make sure the zipper works. Zips all the way around. You just never know what you're gonna find at the thrift store. There are so many treasures, whether you're looking for clothes or stationary supplies, pen supplies, you name it. Always check out your thrift stores. I always encourage people to shop secondhand, keep things out of the landfills, save money for yourself so that you can buy your grail pens. I will do my best to provide links for anything that is going to be available for sale, but I hope you enjoyed this little variation from my norm over here, my little crossover video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you would like to see more from me, hit the bell if you wanna be notified when I upload, and I'll be back real soon with a new video. Thank you everybody, bye.